Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video around the world right now. My name is Andrei Osuchuk, and I welcome you to the next video training on Adobe Analytics Analysis Workspace. The subject of this training is segmentation. I'm going to show you a number of segments that you may want to use on a daily basis while doing analysis. Let's get started. I'm in Adobe Analytics Analysis Workspace and the goal for today is to create a number of segments to slice and dice your data. And let's start with a new panel. I will add a blank panel to my project. We'll call it Top Segments. We'll update the date range to the last 52 weeks. We'll click Apply and add a form. Then we'll add unique visitors with the um, month's dimension. And this will give me total traffic by month. And now the question is whether I'm satisfied to get this trend line and how much value this trend line would give me. Obviously, analysis of averages is not a big deal and this usually will not help you to get insights. This is why you may always want to use different type of segments that are relevant to your business needs and uh, those KPIs that um, you analyze in on a regular basis. The very first two segments that I'm going to show you today and I advise you to create are new visitors and returning visitors. Returning visitors are those who came to your site for the second, for the third, for the fourth, etc. times. So let's build those segments together. As I showed you in my previous trainings, you can use at least 10 different methods for the segments creations. If you haven't watched that video, I advise you to <laughs> look for for it after this video and get more skills in segment creations. So now I will click on the plus icon here, which will open the segment builder. And I'm going to create a segment which is called new visitors. The segment criteria or definition that I'm going to use will contain a number of um, components. The first one will be visit number. This is one of the out-of-the-box dimensions. Add this dimension to this area and set it to 1. Visit number should equal 1. This will include new visitors to your site and update the bucket to visitor. Many of the implementations that I reviewed had a mistake with this particular segment. The problem is that if you keep the segment as you see on the screen, this will not only show you new visitors, but also returning visitors. What we need to do now is to add another condition. I will be using a container with a visitor bucket and I will again add the visitor number dimension and will set the rule to is greater than 1 exclude. This is the accurate segment for new visitors. That segment would return new visitors who came for the very first time to our site. Now the segment is ready and I will hit save. Now let's create another segment for returning visitors, also known as repeat visitors. The segment will be built quite similar to new visitors but <laughs> with some changes. So first select visitor 
and then again look for the visit number dimension. Now what we want to set is visit number should be greater than 1. This is it. This is how you should prepare a segment for returning visitors, those who came to the site for the second, third, etc. times. The segment is ready. Now hit save. Since we added two segments that exclude each other, this is why we now see zero unique visitors. As I showed you in the previous trainings, you can also drag and drop the segment somewhere in the visualizations. I'm going to move the segments under the unique visitors metric. And then I will remove them from the area under the panel title. There you go. As you see now, uh, the percentages that are, show, that are being shown here do not represent a share of new and returning visitors for a given month. And in order to fix that, go to settings and switch the option to calculate percentages by row. Now it works as needed. So, for example, in June 2017, there were 47% of new visitors and almost 53% of returning visitors. So, the sum should give us 100%. You may always want to check whether those segments together give you 100% of your visitors, of your audience. A simple way to do that is to add the unique visitors metric to your table either on the left or on the right hand side and now you can calculate whether it's working properly or not so this number of new visitors plus this number of returning visitors should give you total number that you can see under unique visitors column I can see that it's working accurately so I'm sure that my segments are built accurately. What I'm going to do next um, and recommend you to also do that as a part of this training is to add the visualization. I'm going to use a line visualization to compare new and return visitors. So there you go. So now we can see that um, the green line is always above the blue line, which means that we have more new visitors than return visitors. You can also update this to be shown as percentages. You can also update this to, for example, bar stacked visualization if you want to. In our case, since we only have two metrics that together give us 100%, this visualization also works fine. So now, according to the best practice that I always advise you to follow, name your visualizations to add context to what you are trying to show to your colleagues that you are going to share this project with. So I'm going to call it you versus returning visitors and I'm going to show the table in the same way. This was the first part of this training. Uh, the second part will include two more segments. I want to deep dive into new visitors. And I'm interested to compare those who came to the site for the very first time and viewed one page versus those 
who viewed more than one page. And this would give me some more understanding about how engagement, how the content engages the visitors. So just a very simple example. You clicked on an ad somewhere, maybe you searched for something on search engines, and then you came to the site. If you are interested in the content of that site, you likely would look for some other pages and you would click through to the other pages. So you would view more than one page. However, if you viewed only one page, that means that probably you were not interested, you were not satisfied with the content of the site. It was not enough interesting for you. Obviously, there are exclusions from the rules. So for example, if we have just a single page site, like a landing page, uh, it's not necessarily that you would come to the other pages, right? So because you may find all the content, you may do all the actions within a single page. But um, for the purpose of this training, I'm going to analyze whether those who come for the first time and saw only one page um, differ from those who, vi who visited more than one page. So let's create new segments. I'm going to again use the plus icon here to open the segment builder. And the very first segment I'm going to create now would be for new visitors single page view. Um, new visitors single page view I will select visitor here and will add a container the container with the visit bucket I'm going to use again visit number dimension and visit number should equal 1. At the same time, I would need to check that this, um, this visit was a single page visit. How I can do this? You may find another out-of-the-box dimension that is called single page visits. And I'm going to drag and drop this box to the canvas. Single page visits has two options, two values, disabled and enabled. I will need to set it to enabled. And now I have a condition for those who came to my site for the very first time and consumed or viewed only one page. At the same time, I also want to exclude those who came to the site for the second, third, etc. times. For that purpose, I'm going to add a new container and we'll set it to visitor and visit number should be greater than 1 is greater than 1 and I'm going to set it to exclude so now my segment is ready this segment will return me new visitors who visited only one page and will exclude those who came to the site again in other words re uh, return visitors I will click Save. And will make a copy of my table that I created previously. This will save some time. We'll update this table and add my new segment under Unique Visitors and we'll remove it from this area. So now I can see new visitors single page view and here I will also rename the panel 
new visitors single page view versus multi page view and as you understand now I will need to create a new segment for multi page view within uh, new visitors uh, container or segment um, I'm not going to create the segment from scratch to save some time I'm going to create a copy of the existing segment I will click on the eye icon and we'll go to edit now let's start changing the segment multi page view and you might think that I would need to change many uh, criteria here but actually only one of them which is single page visits now should not equal enabled this is not clear when you look through the documentation this is why I'm showing this to you so visit number equals one and then single page visits doesn't equal enabled will mean that the visitors viewed more than one page and as in the previous segment we also will need to exclude those who came to the site again return on visitors this is it I'm going to save as this segment that will create a copy and if I go to segments and look for multi uh, there you go this is my new segment I'm going to add it under unique visitors and now we have full view on um, single page view and multi page view new visitors as I showed in the previous example you always want to make sure that the sum of these two um, segments will give you total uh, total of uh, new visitors so what I'm going to do now I'm going to open this uh, table and check new visitors is uh, here 9973 um, and if we sum up these two numbers together we will get exactly that number so you can check this as well so now we are ready and let's do another visualization I'm going to add uh, a line visualization and uh, link it to another table that we've created there you go and we'll update uh, two percentages and we'll also update the settings of the table so basically um, all right so I felt that um, I would get um, the percentages the way that they will be showing me 100% uh, but it's not the case since uh, they must be showing us the percentages um, for the from the total traffic for this particular date range and since we are currently looking only at, at new visitors they are showing us less than 100 percent so basically let's uh, double check that um, we have new visitors 47.3 uh, percent let's sum up them together this will be 47.3 percent right so this is why we do not have here 100%. Um, what you can see here on this uh, graph is that something actually happened on my site, and this is not uh, <laughs> this is not uh, what I didn't expect. Uh, basically, the changes that I did were thanks to those segments. So when I worked. On analysis of our site I recognized that there were too many 
visitors who viewed only one page during the first visit and I wanted to change the situation. So now you see that the green line is showing us that segment, those who can view it only one page. And we did the changes on our site, on many pages, to increase engagement. And as you can see, as of March, we were successfully updating uh, the content and the number of those who started viewing more than one page increased. So this is how you also want to do uh, the analysis and then actions. So I'm not, I wasn't going to show you those segments just because they're quite interesting. But when you build the segments, you can then track um, how your changes on the site or the changes with your acquisition channels will impact the engagement on your site, whether those changes were for the better or for the worse. And these two uh, lines uh, basically explain that. So as you see, as of March, we had a positive lift to engage our first time visitors. So just to summarize, today we uh, considered four different segments new visitors versus returning visitors and new visitors single page view versus new visitors multi-page view. I hope that those segments were interesting for you too and if you do not have them uh, you will build them and uh, use them on a regular basis while analysis of your site or probably even mobile apps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and again, would like to remind you that if you want to get more uh, skills, more um, understanding about how the segments work, you can always look through the channel and find there are more videos about segmentation. If you want to get more practice and have specific questions, uh, feel free to sign up for a free introductory training following the link in the description of this video. And uh, as always, share your questions, feedbacks in the comments underneath. And I wish you have a great analysis. Talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye.